Yesterday, the struggle kids were involved in a violent confrontation with law enforcement after they marched to the Swapo headquarters and blocked its entrance. The struggle kids threw stones at the police and the police responded by shooting rubber bullets. When the police arrived at the scene yesterday, he tried to explain to the struggle kids that it is unlawful to block the gates of Swapo, but they refused to move. So as we push them from the premises now, that's now where they started now to throw stones to the police, stones and bottles to the police. So there was a, there were a physical confrontation to the extent that uh, we are forced now to use uh, plastic shots. So we fired some few plastic shots just to disperse them from the premises. So they, did, they retreated for a certain distance where they stood and I started uh, throwing stones and bottles towards the police. So uh, after the whole incident, uh, probably now uh, came to normal. Uh, we've came to learn that uh, one of them were claiming to have been injured on the head. The struggle kids have become used to causing damage to properties without facing any repercussions. This time around, the police might lay charges. But in this latest incident of yesterday, uh, where two police shields were destroyed as a result of stones that were thrown by this uh, group calling itself Children of the Liberation Struggle, we have taken a decision that uh, we must lay appropriate charges and in this regard, those will be charges of uh, malicious damage to state property. So they will be investigated, and once the culprit is identified, he will be charged and arrested and brought to court. The Strahal kids returned to their camp last night. Both Nangolombumba and the Secretary to Cabinet, George Simata, out of the country, and could thus not comment on the matter. Reporting for the News on One, I'm Joseph Shifene.